Hello everyone, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. It's me, Owen, and I'm joined here by Shay. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, the Mike Ashley era. Uh, we're both of the age where we've seen nothing different. So we're going to be discussing what it's been like to watch the club struggle through the Ashley era and what it's like to, to hear about the past and, and what we hope this takeover is going to bring. Um, first of all, Shay, how are you doing? It's a bit of a weird time at the moment. Are you well? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Yeah, it's all good. Just chilling out, really. Just doing the, you know, social distancing and everything. And yeah, that's it, really. I'm glad to hear it. So, basically, um, what's what's the if you could sum up the Ashley era in five words, what what would it be? Bleak, uh, dull. No, like nothing. Just I, I can't really. Just it's, it's just bleak, mate. Really bleak. Yeah. Yeah, and I have to agree. It's it's a struggle really watching the watching the club filter between the championship and the bottom half of the Premier League table. Um, obviously we've had one good season in the time that Ashley's been here, and that was the eleven twelve yeah. season where we finished fifth. Um, yeah. But as a club of Newcastle size, do you think we should be? Challenging right at the top, whereabouts in the table? Top six, top four, title? Definitely, definitely, mate. De- definitely top four. Top four, top six has to be. It, it, it's just if if we're not there, then it's not. It's not the Premier League. Do you know what I mean? We we deserve as fans, especially, to be at the top and not looking to, towards the bottom. We should be looking always towards the top. Yeah, definitely. And um, if you were to pinpoint um, your favourite moment of the Ashley era, what would it be? Oh, gosh. I don't know. I, I feel like, for me personally, I, I just felt like when Rafa came, I had this real, like, sort of, it was sort of almost like we got a part of our club back. Do you know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. so, like, I don't know. I just feel like having Rafa there, he gave us hope, which we didn't really have under Ashley before. I feel like, so, yeah, Rafa really, yeah, we'll, really gave us a boost. Yeah, we'll get back onto Rafa again in a bit because, obviously, right. he's very much... Uh, talked about at the moment um, yes. but so obviously um, your dad supports Newcastle as well um, yeah, what, yeah. what's it like to hear stories from him about um, about the past and, and oh, wins gosh. and Champions League it's, it's just it's, it's almost like it's just annoying because like you just wish I just wish I was there you yeah. know it's just hearing about how good it was in the past and like you know, my dad, when he was little, watching Gascoigne, you know, all those type of players. Like, mm-hmm. And then you see now, and it's just like, it's it's just, yeah, it's just annoying, really. I just wish I was there. Yeah. I know. I, I have to completely agree. I think anybody else our age who has been unfortunate not to see pre-Ashley era um, yeah, yeah. Is, is really crossing their legs, fingers, toes that this takeover is <laughs> going to happen. Um, yeah, 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 definitely. What... So going on to the takeover now, obviously we have heard, I think we've heard quite a lot, but there's always that craving for more information. Uh, what do yeah. you make of what you've heard so far? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I, wanna, I really want to get confident about it. And I, I feel like I am getting starting to get to the stage where I'm feeling confident. But at the same time, I just, I'm worrying because I, I, want, an, I, I, I want an announcement. I want to hear something. You know, I keep getting nervous every morning, waking up and seeing if there's something new. Or just, I'm just, you know, I, I just want that announcement now. I, I just feel like we're being left in the dark a little bit, but, you know, hopefully we, we can hear something good soon, you know. And obviously, Amanda Stavely is, is back again. Um, I believe yeah. this is the, the third time she's been brought up with a takeover link. What do you yeah. make of her, her persistence in trying to obtain the club? Because obviously, she hasn't given up. She's come back with, what, three different parties now. And yeah, this yeah. one looks like it could be the most solid. What do you make of that? Well, yeah, I, I, she I, she must have really good intentions because I heard obviously she's spoken to Rafa when we had Rafa at the club and she had meetings with him and spoke about how she wanted to take the club forward and you know invest in infrastructure of like the city and everything. So I feel like for her to come back like for another time, she has to have some sort of like intention with buying the club. Definitely. And I think a lot of fans share that view. I think a lot of fans are nervous as well because we had that feeling when Ashley came and then it's turned out to be yeah. how it's been for the past 13 years. Exactly. So, so um, 
obviously we'll go on to we'll go on to Rafa in a bit, but <laughs> Taker in terms of parties involved in Taker, we've heard of the Ruben brothers, um, Saudi Arabians, yeah. which I think most <laughs> of us are the most excited about. Definitely. What, what do you make of the Saudi Arabians being linked? Because that is quite a big like to for us to be maybe on the level of a Manchester City. That is a massive prospect. I think that's where the main excitement comes. You see in all the Twitter in everyone's name, you get the Saudi flags now. And um, I think it's just the fact that you see the amount of money that they have or, or could put into the club. It's like 10 times the size of what Man City was. So you, you, it's hard not to get excited. That's, that's why. Yeah. Um, and obviously, we'll go on to Rafa now. Rafa coming back would, would be absolutely massive. Um, yeah. But what do you what do you make of that? Would you welcome him back with open arms, or would it be would it be the case of okay, we'll have him for a bit, see where he can take us, and then move on to someone else when we're in a better position, or would it be look for someone else different now because it's best not to go back? I've seen quite a few views on on whether he should come back or is it is it good should we move on and just forget about what like the past and just move on? And personally, I feel like. I feel like he deserves because I feel like he deserves a chance with a decent budget to invest and see what his Newcastle side would have really been like. Uh, I feel like we missed out on obviously he didn't get the money he deserved. So I feel like if he did, it would be exciting to see what he could build with with our, our squad. Yeah, and um, obviously a lot of fans share the view that you know without Rafa, we probably wouldn't be in the position where we are with the takeover because. If we didn't have him in the championship, we might have not come back up. We might have not finished yeah. 10th in the Premier League. We might have had, not had the stability that we had, had the squad that we For have. Sure. So, I, personally, after reviewing that, I, I think I'd like to see him come back, at least for a little bit, just to see where he can take us, where he can get us into that top six. And even if that is the level that he gets us to, then maybe part ways with him or, or whatever. But yeah, I'd love yeah. to see him come back because he understands the For club, sure. the city, the fans. Um, yeah. So, obviously... The takeover, when, when do you think it's going to happen? Because, I mean, there's lots of talk about the Premier League reviews taking two to four weeks. Um, yeah, do, you, yeah. do you think they're get, the Premier League going to be happy because obviously Saudi Arabians are going to be involved? Uh, Saudi mm. Arabians are going to be involved. What do, you, um, what do you make of it? What, what do you think is going to happen? I, f- I feel like we're, we, at the moment, it's a, I, feel, I feel like people just are waiting for that new bit of positive news or ho- hopefully. It's conflicting whether they have been going on for two weeks already or if they've just started. So hopefully we're, we're at a stage where we start seeing some movement. I'm, I'm, I'm quite confident that we will see something soon. Whether that's good or bad, I'm just not sure yet. Yeah, um, I think a lot, of, a lot of us are just sitting here with our, with our fingers crossed and just yeah. sitting there looking pretty with the cans on ice, as uh, I've heard a lot of people <laughs> exactly. say. Yeah. Um, yeah. W- what do you think it's going to be like if we do get taken over? Do you, and how do you think it's going to come about? Do you reckon it's going to be an announcement from the club, uh, an, an announcement that just breaks out in the news? What, what do you think it's going to look like and what do you think um, it's going to be like? I, I feel like well, it would definitely be insane, on, especially on Twitter and everything. everything. Everyone will be going mental. Although we're in lockdown, like, you can just tell it's going to go crazy. But I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like, in my opinion, it's, it will be like, it will just be mental. Like, I, 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 just, I can't really describe it. Like, it's just meant, like, it's just going to, like, uh, yeah, like I say, I just can't, I can't wait for hopefully it to finally happen. You know? Yeah, um, I think a lot of fans are just anticipating that euphoria, that relief of yeah, uh, Mike yeah. Ashley just being gone, like the parasite of our club. Really, I, I feel I feel like um, I don't I don't think Mike Ashley specifically because he never really like will say anything. I reckon it will mainly be from the buyer side of things because we heard before BZG coming up with these statements and sending them to media outlets, and obviously that one didn't go through. But in the end, but I feel like I don't see Mike Ashley really saying anything. No, um, neither do I. Yeah. But. It's going yeah. to be absolutely amazing when it happens. Whatever happens, I think a lot of us will be drunk for about three weeks. Um, <laughs> for and, sure, mate. And um, yeah, parties all around. So it's been an absolute yeah. pleasure, say, Shay, to have you on. Um, we'll, uh, Cheers, we'll look to have you back on sometime soon, hopefully when the takeover's gone through. Um, Looking but yeah, forward it's been to an absolute it, pleasure. An absolute yeah, pleasure. Thank you, Ed. Cheers, mate. Cheers, bye.